A bad situation has turned worse. The poor are getting poorer and the rich getting richer. Why, why is this issue of wealth a, it's very, a requirement? A very, no, a very big issue when you have William Ruto. They're saying that the Hilodinga is, is so rich, very, very rich, which is not true. Okay. How rich are you? I think about two billion shillings. Two million? Two billion. Yes. Calculated and deliberate measures by the political elite and their cronies in the guise of fighting COVID-19 have created more millionaires in the country and victimized the poor working class even more. But the Kenyan workers won't take it lying down. On April 6, 2021, the Communist Party of Kenya and workers under the umbrella of HEWU, Hospitality and Entertainment Workers Union, took to the streets of Nairobi, protesting against careless, deliberate commissions and omissions by the political class against the working class. The workers cited a disastrous and unscientific approach to the COVID-19 pandemic by the Jubilee government. It wasn't all rosy as a 13 of them were arrested and taken to Kileleshwa police station. The Kileleshwa 13 would later be released after a judicial tug of war in the corridors of justice. As we speak right now, 1.2 million workers in the hotel and entertainment industry are home. Some of them do not have food. But the government has no plan whatsoever to cushion these, uh, these, these workers. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Maureen Akelo Alo, a mother of two boys and I'm a karaoke hostess in and out of Nairobi. Sinango ni coach Freddy Kuchiengo Nyango, me ni coach wa football na ufanya pia job kwa library. Kama jina naitwa Joseph Onyango Chieng wa Kenya wananijua kama Onyiti Bim kwa sababu ya nyimbo yangu ya Nasa 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 Mimi ni mwanamuziki at the same time mimi pia ni producer Mimi naitwa Juma na ile jina inajulikana kwa market ni MC Juma Mimi ufanya MC ufanya entertainment na pia mimi na promote kwa sana Ah jina langu ni Tita Rano ya I'm a bouncer. I'm a I run a restaurant. From our conversation with different ordinary Kenyans, it became apparent that the Kenyan masses had issues even before COVID-19. Let's listen to what they had to say. Before COVID, the challenges we faced mostly was sometimes getting a gig. You know, not many people embrace karaoke. And uh, the other challenge we used to have mostly is payment. Challenges zile ziko ni kwamba wale watu ambao tunafanya nao wengi hawataki ku sign contract. Unaunda wachezaji ndio but unakuta kuna watu liko organize efforts zetu hapa chini. Um my name is Buka Ngesa Omone. I am the national organizing secretary for the Communist Party of Kenya. In Kenya Actually, since the, the so-called independence, what we call the sham independence, the political system that dominates us today is called neo-colonial capitalist system. And in that way, we have a few people who do business at the expense of the workers. Then came COVID. When COVID-19 came, the lives of Kenyan workers would never be the same. Badai, corona ikakuja, kazi zikasimama, shows za kuna. Na kunaweza kujua maisha ya mjini hapa bila pesa mambo ya end. Unafaa kulipa nyumba, watoto wanafaa kwenda shule, watu wa kule. Wewe mwenyewe mwanamuziki lazima ukuwe smart. Kwa hivyo wanamuziki wamerudi nyumbani kabisa kabisa. Hakuna shughuli zinaendelea. Zimesimama 100%. So wakati corona ilikuja, ilikuja kighafla wakafunga kila kitu. Na sasa wale wenye walikuwa wametupea pesa ya down payments wakaanza kudai pesa. 
when COVID came, first of all, the lockdown was a total blackout to a lot of artists because when the lockdown was announced, no work, you have to stay at home. Some of us, personally, me, let me talk about myself, karaoke was my full-time full -time job. So when the president locked down the country, I was at home completely. When COVID Sometimes you may coach my YouTube Mwanga a contract to a shule So my This was not my life. Uh, in life in the Kujapsa of COVID, at least when have been in the before receiving a sign of sign. On the issues of COVID pandemic, just like any other pandemic, it helps to highlight the internal contradictions within a failed system. Yes. Like we have capitalism in our country. So those contradictions and incompetencies were highlighted in the way the COVID-19 pandemic was handled. Um, if you start off when the Jubilee administration actually realized that uh, you know, we already had a case of COVID-19 here, they went to copy-paste only certain um, you know, initiatives that were taking place in Western countries, but they did not study the scientific methodology of controlling a pandemic that is pro people, uh, that is, um, you know, policies that are pro people. For example, the lockdown, you, when you tell people to stay home to control a, pan a pandemic, it is fine. But on the same scale, you have to tell the people that there is certain, uh, you know, vaccination or testing processes that will happen, you know, when you are at home. But when the Uhuru Kenyatta announced, uh, you know, Mr. Kenyatta announced his lockdown, uh, you know, issues on COVID-19, people were staying home, you know, only anxious, without food, without medicine. And there was nobody coming to them even to test them on coronavirus or even to talk to them about vaccination. So in that case, that was a failure on, on President Uhuru Kenyatta's part. It is natural for human beings to adapt to situations. How did workers adapt? Sasa unajua wakati corona ilikuja lazima sasa akili ipange ifanye kazi. Nikatafuta ile pesa nilikuwa naye kidogo kuja nikaweka hii. So immediately the pandemic began and the lockdown began I ventured into food. I started doing food, started selling food. Uh, mostly I'm very good in making chapatis. So just calling, like literally calling friends, family, hi, do you want chapo? <laughs> you know, <laughs> some even don't want, some don't even like, but you're just trying to make an, a living. So. Yeah, job to za mtaa hivi mangukia labda kuna mtu wako ataka afanywe kazi kama sasa hizi tukua ni mangukia mashini ingine ni kwa tumea mwa tufungwe kaos but tukua kazi ilikuja tena ikabebo na watu wa Nairobi water uh, wasani wengine wamejaribu kufanya live shows tunafanya live streaming hapa kwa studio na mwanzoni mwanzoni wakati the, the first ile lockdown ya kwanza kidogo ilikuwa ina wanaweza pata hata kachai yao kidogo mtu anaangalia show yako anaona umeweka namba ya simu pale Mpesa anakutumia kitu lakini sasa hivi hakuna kwa sababu unapoenda unapoenda live unapiga muziki ili watu waweze kupata support remember corona it affect only wana muziki hata wao wanaona pia wako affected kwa hivyo wanaweza tamani kuku support but they have nothing to support you i think mwenye ali advice rais wetu kidogo aliteleza lakini vile tunaona hatuoni dalili ya kuisha as a kenyan citizen i think we should be put on the light on what's going on the plans is planning for us because right now we're just in total darkness president alisema until further notice you see the when you talk about restrictions being lift, lifted 
it should be anchored on certain scientific methodology. In that, we will be reviewing the progress of testing or vaccination on a weekly basis and updating you. On the contrary, the Kenyan people need to eat. You know, you cannot let the poor stay home and then they don't have anything to eat. So oh, the government also needs to provide a counter-social policy. And a counter-social policy means you, pro, uh, you provide food, uh, you know, for the people who do not have work due to pandemic. We sought to know whether workers had benefited from the loans that the Kenyan government obtained from the World Bank and IMF. My loans, I don't think even I can even talk about it because I was in the city, I was in the city, I was in the city, I was in the city. I was in the city, I was in the city, I was in the city, but I was in the city. I was in the city, I was in the city, I was in the city, at least I was in the city, I was in the city, I was in the city, I've never seen any with my eyes, or rather touched. Mm. Or rather been given or supported in any way by the government. No one to pesa in Nigeria. My loans, my loans at a semata, but we at five billion was idea what to inform one sector. A kinuna pata my MCA do an apati wa five billion ya car grant ya ku figuria BBI. Sasa important. When people are actually, their emotions are high and they are demanding for certain uh, uh, things like, um, you know, health care or they are demanding for certain things like security, the government of the day take advantage of that crisis to enrich themselves and take loans, uh, you know, to enrich a few individuals. And you can see, I can even give you a very good example. During the Garissa attack, there was a big campaign against terrorism, which was okay. But then the government used it to save on billions of money. In terms of COVID-19, you can also see that the first set of loans that were taken from IMF and World Bank only manufactured the COVID-19 billionaires. Do the ordinary wana in Kenya feel adequately represented? All they have is support from friends and family. And... Uh, that is what we got. We have a friend of the Kenyan people. Despite the government, the federation, we have a lot of youth who survive. We have a lot of youth who live in the world. We have a kit in MCSK, a very corrupt institution. Hawa ndi watu walikuwa nafaa kututetea, na hawa ndiyo hawapo. Sijaona hile kitu imekuja ya kutetea wa sani sana sana. Hiyo hakuna. My message to the workers, and actually dear workers, is that everything that the workers have won in this country has been a product of struggle. Nothing has been given to them. In fact, they should not expect any gift from government or their employers. They should know that anything that they will win during this pandemic and after pandemic will be a product of struggle. And they should deliberately unionize themselves and organize themselves and criticize the people who ride upon their labor and even the people who are corrupt uh, labor aristocrats that continue to masquerades as representing the workers in this country, but continue to bleed them to death. So when they are organized, then they will be strong. So the power of the workers' people, what I will tell them is to form organizations, labor organizations. And most importantly, those labor organizations should know that the struggle of the working class is a political struggle. It's not just an economic struggle. That when they have political power as the workers, then they will have total control of their destiny and dignity. I'm urging all the hospitality and entertainment workers to shikananeni iinchiyote. We have a political voice. It is not good what they are doing to us. Yeah.
Shole.